And we're starting off with Monday Night Raw, as next week's show will see Seth Rollins defend the World Heavyweight Championship in an open challenge. Many are curious to see who answers the call of the architect, but WWE has already spoiled the results of this much-anticipated title match. During this week's NXT, it was announced that just 24 hours after the Raw title match, Rollins will put his title on the line against Braun Breaker during the upcoming NXT Gold Rush event. While it was always unlikely that the title was going to change hands next week, this report should all but confirm that a title change isn't happening. And what do you make of the WWE inadvertently spoiling the result of next week's title match on Raw? Though a title change won't be happening, open challenge for Rollins should still be a great match, but the question is, who will be answering the call? Next week's Raw will take place in Cleveland, Ohio, so it's fitting that one of the city's favorite sons may be returning from injury to take Rollins up on his offer. After the announcement of the open challenge, Johnny Gargano tweeted that there's no place like home, and with a pair of eyes emoji, made it clear he's interested in returning for next week's Raw. Gargano suffered a shoulder injury last December and re-aggravated it earlier this year, and are you hoping to see Johnny Wrestling face Rollins in his hometown next week? Or should somebody else challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship? For months, fans have neither seen nor heard from Drew McIntyre, as the former WWE Champion's contract that'll expire in early 2024 continues to tick away. WWE has been eager to sign McIntyre to a new deal, and even want him back in time for Money in the Bank, and there's been a big sign that he will be sticking around. In a press release, WWE announced that Drew will serve as the company's ambassador at the upcoming Special Olympics, which will kick off in Berlin, Germany next week. The fact that McIntyre will represent WWE at the games is a sign that his relationship with the company is improving, and it may be a matter of time before a new deal is signed. For a very long time, it seemed like all wrestlers had to be 6'6 six six and bulging with muscles, and that only changed due to the steroid scandal in the early 1990s. As the federal government closed in on Vince McMahon, the chairman pushed more natural physiques with guys like Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart being elevated to the main event. Few wrestlers personified the muscle-clad look like Hulk Hogan, and speaking to the Full Send podcast, the Hulkster had some choice words with how wrestlers look today. All the guys I wrestled look like monster-sized, and nowadays, there are a lot of guys that look like wrestlers and a lot of guys that don't. A lot of guys that look like wrestlers, and then you got guys that look like they should be bagging my groceries. So the difference is how athletic the guys are. Smaller guys can do all kinds of crazy stuff. They do so much impressive stuff in one match, I wouldn't do that much in a year. But what does it mean? While wrestlers once all had a similar physique, the stars of today come in all shapes and sizes, from the 5'6 Rey Mysterio to the 7'3 Nigerian giant Omas. Hogan was once the unquestionable top name in wrestling, but a lot has changed since his heyday, and what do you make to the legend's comments this week? Earlier this year, it was confirmed that Alicia Fox had left WWE after not having appeared in the ring or in any capacity on TV for some time. Fox's final advertised match with WWE was all the way back in April of 2019, but now the former Divas champion will soon be back in the ring. As previously reported, Alicia Fox unretired from pro wrestling following her WWE exit and said she had been working with Booker T to build towards an in-ring return. It has now been announced that Fox will be returning to wrestling at Reality of Wrestling's Summer of Champions 9 event, which will take place on July 15th in Humble, Texas. Fox won't be the only interesting name on the card, though, as NXT's Trick Williams will also be competing at the event in a rare example of a WWE talent performing outside the promotion. Reality of Wrestling is Booker T's promotion and has seen several major names appear, and it'll be interesting to see how Alicia Fox fares in her first match in over four years. Over to AEW now, as the company already has former WWE superstars on its roster, including Jon Moxley, Brian Danielson, Keith Lee, Samoa Joe, and others, and now another is on the list. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reports that EJ Nduka is no longer a free agent, and hasn't been for quite some time, as he has inked a deal with AEW. In NXT, Nduka competed under the name Ezra Judge before his release in May 2021, and he would go on to hold Tag Team Gold in Major League Wrestling not long after. As for AEW, Nduka first appeared for the promotion in January when he faced Kanosuke Takeshita, and Fightful reports that it wasn't long after that a deal was reached. 
Interestingly, WWE were interested in re-signing Induka, who also had been shown interest from promotions in Mexico and Japan, but interest in him dropped when James Kimball was fired. The former senior vice president of talent operations and strategy was fired in February for an HR violation, and it is said that multiple names he'd been working on signing were not followed up on after his exit. As for Nduka, we'll have to see what's next for him in AEW, but expect the talented ex-superstar to resurface on programming soon enough, this time as an officially all-elite talent. Back to WWE, as the company is home to a massive roster, which unfortunately means some superstars end up falling through the cracks. During the 2023 WWE Draft, Tegan Knox and Candice LeRae were drafted to Raw, but the pair have barely been used since the move to the Red Brand. In her only Raw match since the draft, LeRae lost to Zoe Stark, which is somehow better than Knox, who hasn't even competed on Raw at all since being drafted. Things may be about to change for the pair, though, as Fightful Select reports that WWE have filed trademarks for the ring names, a sign that the company has some interest in them. Interestingly, it was reported prior to Night of Champions that Triple H had plans for Knox, who he is a known fan of, but those plans haven't materialized at this time yet. With those trademark filings, hopefully something starts happening for the two talented superstars, as the returns of Candice LeRae and Tegan Knox to WWE has hardly set the world on fire so far. If you've seen Israel Adesanya in MMA, you'll know that he is a wrestling fan and even had an entrance one time that was inspired by The Undertaker. WWE has seen plenty of MMA stars make the transition to the squared circle in recent years, including Ronda Rousey, Matt Riddle, and Shayna Baszler, and will Adesanya be next? Sitting down with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour, Adesanya opened up about a WWE run and said he may do a couple of cameos for the promotion. Adesanya didn't like the idea of being a full-time superstar for WWE though, stating that he likes to be the author of his own story, something he doesn't feel he'd be able to do if someone in WWE is writing his stories for him. The idea of Israel Adesanya working with WWE seems even more likely than ever after Endeavor merges with WWE and UFC into the TKO Holdings Group that is expected to launch later this year. Adesanya has proven himself in the octagon time and time again and recently sparred with Logan Paul, and while he could appear for WWE, the fighter isn't interested in a long-term deal. Chris Jericho has had a contentious relationship with hotel staff, his social media outbursts have caught the attention of wrestling fans globally. However, it is important to consider that there are always two sides to a story, and the Ocho may not be entirely blameless in these instances. During an episode of Jim Cornette's Experience podcast, the esteemed manager shared a letter from a fan recounting an incident involving Jericho at a hotel. According to the letter, the incident took place in Belfast in July 2022 and led to the arrest of the former AEW champion. The letter reads as follows. A good friend who is a police officer in the PSNI, the Police Service of Northern Ireland, contacted me and showed me body cam footage of a drunken, aggressive, and flexing man in the corridor of a local hotel in Belfast. The man in question was Chris Jericho. Police were called after reports of loud music, aggression towards hotel staff, and general disturbing of the peace coming from the hotel room he was staying in, and my friend was one of the officers to respond. The fan noted that Jericho's rock and roll tendencies and lifestyle might be the reason for his issues with hotel staff. Cornette continued reading, My friend recognized Jericho and attempted to talk him down and calm the situation. Jericho raised his arms and flexed to show his dominance to the officers and stated, Don't you know who I am? And similar phrases one would expect from an inebriated individual. He was then arrested by the officers. I believe he was released when he sobered up a few hours later, but this tickled me to no end. Ultimately, no serious or long-term damage was caused. Nonetheless, the amusing story shed some light on the behind-the-scenes life of the famed AEW wrestler. And we're ending today with Baron Corbin, and while the Lone Wolf has been seriously struggling to win on the main roster, things have been going better for him on NXT. This week's NXT show saw Corbin take on Ilya Dragunov, and in one spot, paid tribute to one of the greatest to ever set foot in a WWE ring. During his match with Dragunov, Corbin leveled the former NXT UK champion with an attitude adjustment, taking a page out of John Cena's playbook. Fans will remember that Cena and Corbin feuded in 2017, with Big Match John costing Corbin his Money in the Bank cash-in attempt, and the two faced later that year at SummerSlam, with Cena coming out on top. 
During this week's NXT though, it was Corbin who got the win, earning a title match with NXT Champion Carmelo Hayes, and while this segment ended with Hayes standing tall after attacking Corbin, this tribute to Cena proved to be a highlight of this week's NXT.